Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, in this episode, we're gonna take a look at a ready-to-fly drone for beginners. So if you wanna get into FPV and you want a kit where everything comes in the box to get you started in the FPV hobby, this is one. This is called the Petrel 65 ready-to-fly drone, and we're gonna check it out right now. So everything you need comes in this really nice case and there's quite a bit in here. I'm going to show you most of it right now and tell you about it. So the first thing you'll want on the boat is the drone. So this little guy right here, you can buy this separately or buy it in the kit. This drone is pretty cool. Here's what I like about it. You know, I'm trying to hang on to this same time. Here's what I like about it. The VTX, the video transmitter at the back, shoots out at 350 milliwatts. I've only got mine set right now to 200. So I save some battery power, but 350 is quite powerful for a little whoop. So if you're flying indoors or outside, you should be able to get a video signal back to you at a, quite a distance. The camera up front is a CAD-X Nano Ant, which gives you pretty good camera quality. We're gonna see that when I play it back in the video. It does have an F4 flight controller. It does take a 1S battery. They do include two 1S batteries in the kit right here. So that should give you some flight time. I'm gonna guess, I haven't flown this. I'm gonna guess since these batteries are only 300 milliamp hours and they're 1S and the weight of this drone is not very much, but I'm gonna guess everything together, you're probably averaging maybe four minutes of flight time per battery. Of course, you get top quality motors on this little guy because it's from HGLRC. So they're 25,000 kV brushless motors. And they do have that really cool system on the bottom where you just plug them into the flight controller. So in other words, say, I don't know, say you destroy a motor and you need to buy a new motor. They cost next to nothing. You get one and you just plug it in the bottom. It's that simple. Next thing I wanna show you is the included controller. It is a T8 light controller by Radio Master and Radio Master is a big company so pretty decent I've had this controller in many different iterations with many different drones in the past and you've seen lots of reviews using this controller flying drones of all types it's pretty decent the thing that I like about it is you can plug a USB in the back and hook it up to your computer and practice on flight sims so you get the skills of flying FPV very good for that it has tons of switches they've already configured it out of the box so you don't have to hook it up to beta flight and configure it yourself so it's configured and I'm going to show you what all the switches do and if you have a pen and paper write them down just so you know I put labels on everything so there you go you can see my switches it probably means nothing to you at the moment and if I flick it this way there's the other switch is that upside down no that's right side up there we go there's the other switches there, what they do. All right, so if none of my labels made sense to you, when I showed you the one that said off, arm, and air mode, that means off is your motors are not spinning. When you flick it to on, which is arm, then your motors spin and you can fly. And air mode just means you're gonna fly in a way that you can do flips and somersaults and everything else. Over on the other side, I have angle mode, horizon mode, and acro mode. So those are your different flight modes. I'll show you a picture right here of what you can do. So basically in angle mode, you are pretty much limited it for stability flight uh, you can't do flips or anything horizon mode your stability flight with some flips and then of course acro mode you can just go crazy and do flips everything like freestyle like a lot of us do when we fly on the front another switch called beeper when you flick that your drone will beep in case you lose it in the grass or someplace or in the snow uh, and your last one is flip over that's in case your drone is upside down and you have your goggles on and you don't want to go get it you put the flip over switch move your joysticks and then the drone flips over and then you arm it again and fly away for all the newbies out there a little tip just make sure when you power on this controller to fly it with your drone that you keep the left throttle stick down this is a mode two so the throttle sticks on the left make sure all your switches at the front are all pushed down and then your drone will connect and you can go fly all right what else do i have so you do get a set of goggles and these goggles here do come with two antennas put them on i'm putting on the antennas right now so as i'm putting the antennas on let me tell you about the goggles they're pretty straightforward all the buttons are really well labeled on them the display is pretty decent for a beginner they're small in size very light they're rechargeable just like the the controllers rechargeable everything's rechargeable here you don't have to put batteries in anything the only thing i will mention about them is a few things one is you cannot put a micro sd card in them and record your flight so the flight you're going to see me flying today i'm going to fly with my fat sharks and record the video in here but what i'll probably do is put a gopro in front of this looking straight in and uh, you'll see what it looks like other thing to mention they are small in size so if you wear glasses like me you cannot fit them over your glasses they will not fit no matter what you do so uh yeah if you wear glasses 
these might not work for you. But like all analog goggles, these goggles will work with any drone that is analog that you buy in the future. So you can keep on using them if you wish. Other things you get in here, it's filled with stuff in the back. For your goggles, you have an audio video cable system in case you want to shoot other video in. I don't know, watch movies or something. You get a pile of instruction manuals for everything, plus stickers. Can't forget the stickers. I think you get two sets of USB cables for charging everything. You get a micro Phillips screwdriver. I'm just looking at what I see. You get a prop removal tool. You get spare props as well for your drone. You get a connector in case you want to hook it up to Betaflight to do some configurations. If I missed anything, I'll show it to you right now. Now, the last thing to say about this little guy is it is designed for indoor flight. It, it's advertised for indoor flight, indoor racing. You know, like if you're in a gym or you're flying around your house really fast. I'm outside of my backyard and uh, it's a little windy. It's not designed for the wind, but I'm going to fly it out here in my backyard in a very tight space and see how it goes. So let's try it out now. Oh, the wind's picking up. This is going to be fun. Here we go. Okay, so for this first flight, I'm just going to take my hat cam here and uh, film it flying around in the wind. So I don't need uh, my fat sharks at the moment. I'm sliding on ice down here. I don't know if you can see it. So when you see me moving back and forth, that's, uh, that's just me on a sheet of ice. So I don't need these right away. I'll put those over here. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to Power these on and put the GoPro in front of them. I don't think it's going to turn out too great, but uh, we'll see what happens. All right, to get everything going, just make sure all your switches are down, 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 down. The left throttle's down. Power this on. Hold it down. All the lights will come on. And it's powered on. It's all set. Doesn't make a sound or anything like that. Next thing, we take our drone here. I've put the battery in. You see it just slides in the bottom like that. And then just plug it in makes a little sound and it's ready to go. So I'm just gonna stick it down here like that. So now I've got the controller and I've got the drone, they're set. So that means this is sending out a video signal to my goggles, which are over here. Let me just put my goggles over here so you can see them in the image. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a GoPro and stick the GoPro looking inside. So let's see if they're on. They are on, I don't know if you can see it in the image. There we go, you can see it's picking up an image from the drone right now. If I can hold that steady. So I'm gonna put a GoPro in front of that and uh, see what it looks like. So if I go like this, put this on record and I'll stick it down here and it should look inside and see everything. It's gonna get some reflections from the sun and the light. Let's see if I can put something over top of it. Here, I'll put a hat, put my little hat. I have an extra hat, that should help. All right, it might be a little bit blurry, the image going through the GoPro looking in the goggles because they're so close together and GoPros, you know, they need about this much distance to be in focus, but yeah, we'll see how it works. So we're all set to fly now. So next thing we're gonna do is take our little drone and put it someplace where you can see it take off. So let me stick it right over here on the ground, right back here. Oh, the ice. And then I'll take the little guy here down here. On my controls here, you see I have it on off. Hopefully my hat cam picks this up off. And over here, I wanna fly it in angle mode. So that means it's the switch all the way uh, down. So that's angle. Next one up is horizon, then uh, acro is the last one. So there we go. Make sure these are down. Beeper's off. Does the beeper work? You can barely hear the beeper. Here, here's the beeper. Up, oh, hold up to the mic. Here's the beeper. Well, that's about as loud as it gets. All right, so let's fly it. The reason I say make sure your throttle's down because if you have it up a little bit and you flick the switch, nothing happens. Your drone, your drone will not start up. But if it's down and then you flick the switch, the motors spin. Here we go. So I've got an angle mode. I'm taking it slow here so that you can see it in the camera. There it is right in front of me. So that's our little baby. And this is in the wind too, and look at it. It's really, really good. I obviously can't see the video, but the video is going into the, uh, the GoPro over there. So hopefully that looks pretty cool. Let's bring it over to the other little camera filming. Well, let's bring it down between these little cameras here. So I've got a camera filming over here. There we are. Whoa! And then I've got a camera filming over there. Whoa! It's probably out of focus. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it works really well. No issues there. You should be able to fly this indoors really well. Beginners should be able to fly it. It will stay more stable uh, when you're in angle mode indoors. Right now with the wind outside, it's just moving around. And uh, let's see if I want to turn it off. Off and catch it. Oh! <laughs> well, let's see how it does in the snow. <laughs> I've got snow all over it. So I'm going to use the same battery and now fly it with my fat sharks. There won't be much power left, but let's just fly it around the backyard here and see how it does. So I'm going to put it down here. Get the snow off it. 
Let's see what the image looks like in the fat sharks. I might have it on the wrong channel. I've got it on race band one, but every, I can make out enough. So I see all the good stuff. So that's good enough. I can fly with that. Yeah, I can do that. I can see my glasses and everything else. Hopefully this image is recording and you can see it. So let's go and put it in an arm. And let's fly it. There we go. Now I can fly it around my backyard. Once again, this is designed for beginners. So there's my bird feeder. I have it so the squirrels cannot attack that. And you know what I did? I greased the pole here. See this long pole? Woohoo! Go up to the bird feeder. I greased it. And the squirrels, it's hilarious. They try to get up it and they just wipe out with all the grease. I do have a little bird, uh, a squirrel buster thing that I ordered from Amazon that I'm going to put on. Is that a tree I just hit? But uh, I don't have that yet. And as you can see in the backyard here, you notice that we have less and less snow. Yeah. It is melting away. I don't know why. It's almost like spring. All right, so you can see I'm having a fun time and I'm not even getting a low battery. And the video signal is shooting back to me at 200. And Whoa, let's go pull with the wind just got me. There we go. Now I'm getting the low battery. So low battery is due to the wind. The wind is blowing it around. I'm trying to control it. Landed there. All right, so flying in the snow, this is what you get. <laughs> there we are down here let's get all the snow off it so like i said it's probably about average of four minutes flight time so let me just pull that off and i'll put another battery on that's another thing too if you're new at flying fpv drones out in the winter you can crash in the snow land in the snow anything it takes a while before the snow uh, damages the electronics so you just have to pull them out of the snow and then you know get all the snow off <sighs> Do whatever you have to do uh, to get it off and then it's good to fly again i fly fpv drones all year long in the winter the summer the rain everything and i've never had an issue put our second battery on and go for another flight so a lot of you probably wonder uh, can this thing do flips and rolls and stuff like that it should uh but it's pretty windy so it's i'm probably going to crash it here so um, anyways i'll try it anyways so on my switches you see i have angle that's what i was in horizon is the next one it lets you do some flips with stability and the last one is acro so i want to go in acro and i want to make sure when i turn the switch i go off arm and all the way up that will put me in air mode to let me do flips so let's fly this baby let's see if i can lose it watch me lose it <laughs> all right here we go all right it's pretty cold out here so i don't know how long this battery is going to last let's try armed whoa i'm moving the wrong way hang on i'm in acro mode Whoa! Okay, we're going out this way, back this way. At least I could control it in acro mode, that's good. All right, so you want to see if it can do flips or anything? So let's try this. Actually, I can fly it even easier. Am I in acro mode? Well, let's find out. Yep. Oop. All right, so we know acro mode allows you to do flips, just got to be higher in the air. So let me try that again here. How much battery power do I have left? All right, here we go. Whoa, get over that. All right, so let's go up higher this way. I don't want to go land too far away because I have to go get it. There we go. Look, here's my street. I can fly to the neighbors if I want or farther away. I'm going away up here. All right, so let me show you some flips as I go over the house. Going this way and then flip it. There we go. And then miss the tree. Miss the tree, I said. Whoa. Let's go back. Whoa, whoa. Hit the tree. Hit the tree. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, let's arm kill the arm switch on that. All right. So newbie Steve here crashed his little drone again. Let me go get that. I got it. I, I turned on the beeper, went and picked it up. So I've got it back. Anyways, hopefully that video came out all right. So this is a drone. It's designed for flying indoors. What you saw me doing out here is the extremes with this thing in the winter on a windy day, uh, flying this little guy. So it can handle this so indoors if you get this for flying around in your house you'll have a blast because it's designed for that here i'm just going to turn off the beeper here hang on beeper off there we go it's a pretty good drone i like it it's a lot of fun and if you want to see that flip over thing here let me show you that really quick all right to show you the flip over i have to put something not smooth or else it won't flip so let's say you're flying let me just arm it here i'm going to show you so i'm going to put this back on angle i'm going to arm it and then all of a sudden we're flying and whoa we flip upside down so turn it off there we go so now i need it to flip over so you have a switch over here it's called uh, my little switch is called flip over i click that now when i arm it whoa <laughs> you get the idea 
All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to put links below to where you can find this little unit from HGLRC. It is a ready to fly kit, and I will say it's very durable. These ones here, these uh, whoops like this, are extremely durable with the plastic shrouds around the motors. They are designed to bang into anything in your house not mark your walls and still keep the drone in one piece uh, whoops are i've said it a million times are the funnest drones to fly because if you have a friend you do racing if you're in the house just race around in a circle someplace and whoever makes it through i don't know whatever obstacles first is the winner it's it's pretty decent also like i mentioned this here can connect to your computer by a usb uh, cable that's included and you can practice on flight sims so you can get better there's lots of flight sims for whoops online and they're free so you can use those and have a lot of fun so like i said i'll put links below i don't think it's very expensive it's from hglrc they're trying to get people into the fpv hobby so it's a pretty decent kit go check it out all right guys if you have questions on this drone post them below and uh yeah i'll answer you but for now i say i'm gonna go back inside catch you in another video bye